Hey everyone! If you've been programming with DOS assembly for any period of time, you've noticed there's COM files and there's EXE files. And you've probably been wondering, what are the differences and how does it affect me? So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the theoretical differences between COM and EXE, and then we'll actually show the differences in Visual Studio Code um, and just practical examples of the things that you need to consider. So let's get into it. On devblogs.microsoft.com here, you can see that Raymond Chen has uh, an article on the exact differences. So this is great. It's from the source, Microsoft. And it says that com files don't have a format. They're just a flat binary file. So there's no fix ups, there's no checksums. It, you just load it and go. And just like binary files, um, the main difference is that it has to have that origin point of 100 in hexadecimal or 100 hex. Um, now the COM file itself is supposed to be limited to 64 kilobytes and they noticed that obviously as things were growing they needed another format and that is the format MZ which is an EXE file. Now, EXE files are structured, whereas COM files are not structured. But if you actually get down to it, you'll notice that uh, COM files are well known and they're not actually constrained by that 64 kilobyte limitation. So in the long run of things, there are differences. If you use the MZ format, you'll get an EXE file and you'll need to structure your program. But if you rename it .com, it will still work. And if you rename a com file .exe, it'll still work. And that's for backwards compatibility because they didn't want to have to tear up command.com to call it command.exe and deal with all of the fallout and problems that would have happened because of that. All right, so those are the differences at a high level. Let's actually look at the differences when you're writing code. So we're going to do use 16 because it's 16 bit programming. Now, if you want to do a com file, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Again, all you have to do is set your origin point to 100. And I guess to make it a valid DOS program, at the end, you're going to have to do move um, 0C um, or 04C00 into your AX register and call into 21H. Now, if you've watched any of the other videos, the origin point, um, this is the DOS origin point. And then this means uh, 4C is the command for returning, and we're returning 0. And we're saving that into our register. So. Hopefully that's all pretty straightforward and you've been programming in DOS before and all this stuff looks familiar. And this is really it. This is all that you need for a COM file. If you use FASM like we've been using on our tutorials, it'll even put the .com extension on the end of it for you because it recognizes this origin point. Okay, great. So let's talk about EXE files now. Well, what you need to include is at the top here, you need to include the format is MZ which means it's an exe file. And you also are going to need to establish an entry point. So uh, we'll do main start as our entry point. And that actually means we need to declare it. So we have to put in a segment main, and then we will put in the start label for our program. All right, so that's all set up and that's pretty straightforward. But we also need to include stuff for the stack. So we're going to say that the stack also starts at 100H, or you could say 0x100. And now the stack has its location figured out. And let's also add a text segment because it is structured. So we want to be able to have this and we'll just say Oh, we've been doing hello world program, so why not hello text? And we'll put in here hello world. And there we go. Now, obviously, for this stuff to work correctly, 
we have to also set up our registers that use these things. So under our start here, I'm going to push text, so the memory address of where our text segment is, onto the stack, and then I'll pop it onto DS. And um, our code segment should already be set, but just in case it's not, I mean, our entry points here. So this is probably redundant, but we will put in here to push our main segment onto the stack and then pop it onto our code segment. And this is really all that you should need to do. Um, the main difference is segments are now included or required, I should say. And we are setting our registers up to point to those segments because they are no longer just ready to go from default anymore. Uh, we need to specify an entry point and then also specify that we're using this format. Now, when you build this, it will come out as an exe file. Now, um, I guess that's really it. So this wasn't too bad, but if you've been wondering about the differences, there you go. So we look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, keep programming and accomplish great things. All right, we'll see you then.